We're here at KCTS 9 Studios today with a couple of very talented filmmakers from Egypt. They're in town for NIFTI, the National Film Festival for Talented Youth, taking place in Seattle this week. What is it like for upcoming filmmakers in Egypt? In the past, uh, it was like impossible for filmmakers like me to, to just think they could work, uh, work on making films because uh, it was very expensive. There was no equipment or anything else. Uh, we have only like one institution that teaches cinema there uh, and it accepts only like six students a year so it was like impossible. So right now it's like a trend. It's the available of technology and uh, the idea that people believe that they can make films these days because uh, it was like really impossible uh, and possibly for religion views, religious views, uh, it was like should we make cinema or should we make cinema? So you've been making films for a while. You've made uh -huh. some short films. Uh -huh. How did you get started as a filmmaker? Well, I started with a couple of friends. I had a friend who knew how to write, a friend who knew how to edit, and one who knew how to act. So we came up with a team and we started working on stuff. I was like a videographer in the beginning. And after a while, I wanted to be a director, not a, not a videographer. So I directed some PSAs and uh, then moved on to making short films. Yeah, I studied architecture. I had no idea what I wanted to be. And my father was an architect, so he was like, come on, architecture is great. <laughs> so I went on uh, studying architecture. Uh, I had a great first year. In the second year, I just thought it was miserable. The end of my third year, I discovered I just want to be a filmmaker. All my parents, uh, they just didn't believe it. They just let me go with it in the beginning because they thought it was just like a thing that came up and I'm just going to leave it. And my father just kept on going, do whatever you want. When I came here last year, I won the audience award in Nefty Earth. So uh, it was the first time he told me that he, he cried. He's proud of me. He's supporting me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm becoming a better, a better filmmaker. So the film is Yusuf. It was shot in Egypt, in Cairo, but I just made it anonymous. I just said third world, world countries, not Egypt. Well, I was brainstorming with some, with some friends in the beginning, but uh, Coming, returning home, I was speaking to my janitor. He was telling me that his son just finished, uh, finished school. So I was asking him, which college are you going to enroll him in? So he told me, no, uh, I'm not going to enroll him in a college. I'm just going to make him work with me so he can help me support the family. So I kept on thinking. I knew, that I knew his son since he was a very young kid. And I always felt that he had dreams. He had stuff he wanted to do. So this was the main inspiration for my film, uh, for the idea. Uh, brainstorming with my friends, that idea just always kept coming back to me. And uh, I sat on and, write it and wrote it and then started working on it. Yusuf, so how did you end up being in this film? Uh, Omar is my cousin. And he wanted uh, like uh, someone my age to uh, do this movie. So he just chose me because he knew me. And I l love acting. In any, and uh, my dream is to be an actor. So I was very happy. It was an amazing experience. Making that film, that film is the most special film I made so far. I made uh, four short films and, uh, and a documentary, several commercials, but this short film is a really special one for me. So I really hope it will get somewhere far. And uh, I was here last year in NFT uh, presenting a short film called Tolkienisa, The Church. Yeah. So I, was, I, re I had really high hopes that Yusuf would get accepted to, that, to, that, to, to NFT this year. What, is, what has that meant for you as a filmmaker? You're very young and you're traveling to Seattle uh -huh. to show your film. What has that been like? Uh, it really means a lot. Uh, it adds a lot to me as a filmmaker. I get a lot of experience. I, 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 I meet a lot of experience. young people. Seeing people my age doing those films, uh, and I always ask myself, how do they make stuff like that in a very young age? Because in Egypt, it's, like still, it's still a little bit mm -hmm. slow. So I always wonder, how do they do this stuff? But I'm trying to catch up <laughs> so I can uh, decrease well, the gap a, a little bit. You're doing a great job. Um, so Yusuf, is this the first film you've acted in? Yeah. Yeah. And what was your first reaction when Omar asked you? Uh, I was really surprised and happy and I like I was very, very happy. And it was and I thought I would do very good in this film and I told him, I promise you I will act the best. And mm -hmm. I I told him we will win. On our shooting day? just 12 midnight he got very sick and he shot the whole film being sick do you have any favorite actors that um, you look up to uh not not really in the, in america but i watch a lot of english uh, movies 
and I watch a lot of Arabic movies in the same time. It's either comedy or action or scary mm -hmm. movie. Or I loved uh, Fernando Morales, uh, Morales' City of God. I really love that film. Uh, it really inspired. It, it like really, really inspired me to become better f a better filmmaker. Uh, I like al also Ridley Scott and uh, Christopher Nolan. Back in Egypt, uh, I, I'm really fond of uh, a filmmaker called Mohamed Diab because he was like uh, working in a bank for 10 years, but he always believed he could be a filmmaker. So he just quit working in a bank and decided to pursue his career and kept on going doing it. One of the things you, wa you want to do is change the perspective of Egyptian filmmakers. What do you mean by that and how do you see that change happening? Well, uh, the Egyptian cinema won't change if there's like only 10 good filmmakers. It has to have, it has to have like uh, thousands of good filmmakers to be able to, ha to, to be a great, uh, a great industry in Egypt. So I'm trying to inspire more people to, to find out what they want. Uh, we're trying at the moment in Egypt to organize a, a, a youth film festival with the idea of Nefti. Uh, I just wanted to talk to them about that uh, mm -hmm. this year. As independent filmmakers there, we just help each other a lot. So, so we, could, we could do our work because uh, there's, there's not a lot of support and there's not a big network of filmmakers. So those few filmmakers, they really help, e help out each other in order to uh, uh, be able to do, to do their projects. There is a commercial film industry and it was really working good. Uh, actually, Egyptian cinema back, uh, you know, back in like the 60s, till the 60s was really great. But uh, after we went into war, it started going down. And in the 90s, it started coming back again. But right now, in, uh, in the moment after the Egyptian revolution, it's been going back down again. So uh, we're hoping uh, this could be a chance for us as independent filmmakers to, to, be able to, make, uh, to be able to make it on the big screen. So the general public in Egypt, are they more geared to watch, you know, American films or Egyptian films or are they watching Bollywood? They watch a lot of American films. Yeah. Uh, it's, the, it's their favorite. When there's a really good Egyptian film, everyone, everyone goes. Yeah. But, uh, but mostly it's, uh, it's American films, Hollywood films. So have you had a chance to sightsee? Well, I saw Seattle last year. He still didn't see. I was just yeah, taking it. Yeah, it's my first time to visit Seattle and sit. it's an amazing experience too, visiting it, visiting it and coming for a the film festival is just an amazing experience too. Great. Great. So thank you so much for being here. We're really glad to have you and looking forward to seeing your film at Nifty. You're welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. We went to the cinema. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to <laughs> it was our and we went shopping in the Bellevue Square. It's yeah. a, it's a, it's fun there, right? Yeah. Every day, <laughs> Seattle's fun. <laughs> 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 <laughs>